Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over internal versus external wastegates. Okay, so here we have a stock turbo off a 2.0 TFSI engine. This would be very similar in most current model Volkswagen Audis. This would look, have a setup like this. And basically what we're going to be looking at is going to be the wastegate here. Now, here is our exhaust manifold. And if we take a look here, this is where the wastegate goes. And if we look over here, this is the actual actuator. There is the actuator that hooks up to vacuum and then it has a rod that runs across underneath to actually open and close this particular valve here. Okay, so here we are on our hot side of our turbo. This is the exhaust manifold and this is where the downpipe would mount on this particular setup. So this setup is a stock turbo and uses an internal wastegate. Now what a wastegate does is controls the boost pressure of the vehicle and it does so by opening and closing. This, tur this wastegate will open at varying rates depending on the demand by the driver uh, and input to determine what the boost pressure is. So if we take a look at the flow of what the exhaust gas would be if you were to be looking for maximum boost, it would come out of the exhaust manifold through the turbine and then out the housing and through the downpipe. This obviously is when we're looking for maximum boost to drive the uh, turbine wheel as quickly as we can. If we're looking to vary the boost, what's going to happen is the exhaust is going to come out of the manifold, come down, and it's going to come out partially out of the wastegate and partially out of the turbine or until you have obviously the, the wastegate open to the maximum amount, it's going to allow the most exhaust gas to pass out through the wastegate assembly. So that's how our internal wastegate works. Let's take a look at how our external one works. All right, so here we are with our external wastegate, which is mounted on our tubular manifold. Uh, we've got the turbocharger here at the bottom of the tubular manifold. And you can see with the tubular manifold, you have a separate little leg of the manifold that comes off for mounting the wastegate. Because the wastegate is an external wastegate, there is no pathway through the turbocharger itself, so you have to have the extra leg, which is why it will not work with a stock style manifold. The external wastegate itself has the valve down in this bottom housing so that the, the gases would come in here and exit out that way. And the actuator is built onto the external wastegate so it's all contained in one little unit. Uh, the reason that you need an external wastegate in these situations is one, uh, most good turbine housings don't come with a provision for an internal wastegate, but also to control the boost properly, your wastegate needs to be sized correctly to match with your turbo, your manifold, and the rest of the components. So with an external wastegate, you can choose between several different sizes to get the one that will control your boost correctly. Okay, so here we have our in stock turbo with manifold and the internal wastegate setup. Uh, the reason why you would find this on factory vehicles, pretty much all factory vehicles that are current model, would be because of cost of manufacturing it makes this a lot easier and more of a viable choice for the average person. And uh, I'll let Cody talk a little bit about why you would want to have the external wastegate in your car. With external wastegates, as I said before, you can choose the sizing of the wastegate, which is important because if your wastegate is too big, it actually makes it difficult to finally control the boost. But if your wastegate is too small, it can't flow enough gases through it and it won't slow down the turbo enough to actually control your boost. Your boost will just go up and up and up and up. I recently actually had a Porsche here in the shop that I was tuning on the dyno, which somebody had used uh, some aftermarket turbos that had internal wastegates, which were too small. Um, and that engine actually ended up blowing up because the boost would just go off the charts as it got to high RPM. Right. So again, this would be generally what you would find that External wastegates would be applications that are going to be for high horsepower circumstances, big turbos, stuff like that. So uh, thank you so much for watching our external versus internal wastegate video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it. Also check out the guys at Black Forest Racing. We'll link them in the description below.